Welcome to my new favorite game, Chaotic Bean Simulator. At first glance, this might seem like a pretty simple game, but there's so much more to it than meets the eye, including lore, hidden secrets, a great community, and more. If I tried to cover everything in this video, it would end up being over an hour long, so today I'm just going to cover the basics to help you get started. The main goal of this game is to level up and reach ascension many, many times. You can gain experience through breaking objects, battling, mining, but the best way to gain experience in the beginning is by collecting gummies found all over the map. There are ways to boost the experience you receive by spending Robux or by using coins to buy items from the daily shop. Another way to earn boosts is by completing quick quests. Only three quests will be available at one time with the option to skip a quest for 50 coins. There are currently 11 quests total that are cycled through. I'll list them all here with a brief explanation and some tips. Number one, be bounced by bumpers 15 times. So bumpers are the big bouncy balls with bases. To complete this quest, I like to equip my heavy coil and use the group of bumpers by the swampy pit area. Number two, be launched by rings 10 times. A good area for this is close to the AFK mushroom, like right next to the mini games area. There is this landing pad marked with an X. Start there, then jump through the ring that's right in front of it, and it should take you through enough rings to complete the quest in one go. Number three, bounce 100 times. Uh, this is pretty simple and straightforward. You should be able to accomplish this just by playing the game. Also, don't worry if you accidentally bounce off the map. There's no penalty and you'll just be dropped back off at spawn. Number four, break three objects. If you're big enough, I would recommend breaking trees to complete this quest. I believe you gotta be around size 10 to 12, somewhere around in there. If you're able to break the trees, they only take one hit, so it's very quick. Otherwise, I would go for the syrup pillars that are in the minigames area. Those are pretty easy to break too without a pickaxe or anything. Number five, collect three of any material type. Again, for this, I go for the trees or the syrup pillars, but if there's any type of material that you need, go for that one. Number six is collect 15 coins. Another simple and straightforward one, if you're just playing the game, you should be able to pick up 15 coins pretty easily without trying. Number seven, collect 50 gummies. Again, this is another one that you can get just by playing the game and bouncing around the map. Number eight, deal 100 damage to baked beans. I usually skip this one. Sometimes baked beans are difficult to find as they only spawn at night unless it's an invasion. But if you need to complete it, I usually find baked beans in the minigame area and in the swampy pit area. They fall in there and get stuck. Number nine, launch from a macaroni cannon. I know for new beans, these can be hard to find, but once you see one, they're pretty easy to spot. Just look for the giant macaroni noodles. Number 10, use bounce pads 15 times. I prefer to use the AFK mushroom for this one, but any of the bounce pads will work. Just look for flat discs. There are several of them in a group near the center of the map. Number 11, use abilities 10 times. I use my abilities pretty often, but if you don't, or if you just want to save your gummies, you should probably skip this one. Once you reach level 50, you are ready for your first ascension. Each ascension after that will require an additional 50 levels. After your second ascension, you are able to visit the mines. And after your fourth ascension, you can upgrade mastery nodes. The area you reach when ascending is called the Gummy Realm. 
Doors will be available to you upon ascension where you can spend any astral gummies that you have saved. Astral gummies are a different currency than regular gummies and you can only use them in the gummy realm. It's also important to know that you do not have to ascend to reach the gummy realm. When clicking the ascend button, you can choose visit gummy realm to access that area. The first door in the gummy realm is acquire abilities. And this is where you can find abilities for purchase. There are currently seven to choose from. Flip, dash, blast, Instamagnet, Halt, Launch, and Snooze. Once you purchase an ability, it will appear on the bottom middle of your screen and they cost gummies to use. The next room is Unshackle Stats. This is where you can upgrade the max cap on your bean's size, speed, and jump height. After your fourth ascension, you will gain access to the constellation. Here you can unlock mastery nodes that help with gaining extra rewards, mostly experience. The different mastery nodes are ability, astral time, battle, bounce, natural growth, object, quest, and treasure. To exit the gummy realm, you have to go through the rebirth gate. This is the only way to exit, even if you have not ascended. If you're just visiting, you can go through it without resetting anything. Okay, next up is the customize menu. Players can select from 10 different preset colors or input their own RGB codes. You can also adjust the speed, jump, and size of your bean here. As mentioned earlier, the max amount for these categories can be changed in the gummy realm. Three of the options here, Gradient, Avatar, and Rainbow Bean, are only available with a Game Pass. We won't be discussing Game Passes in this video, but if you enjoy the game, it's something I definitely recommend looking into. Next is the shop. To access the shops, simply click on the shop icon on the left. This is where you can spend all your hard-earned coins. The categories are faces, accessories, materials, trails, particles, equipment, and music. Once you've purchased an item, you can view and equip it in the inventory tab. At the bottom of this menu is the button for the daily shop. This area has a rotating stock that refreshes once a day. There will be 10 items available to purchase for gummies, each granting a permanent XP boost to the player, so it's definitely worth purchasing. The most recently added opportunity for obtaining new items is through crafting. You will find the craft button on the top right of your screen. The crafting area features the same categories as the shop, but since it's new, there's not a lot of options available right now. This will be added to you in the future. In this menu, you're also able to view your materials inventory and sell any that you don't need. There are currently 14 different materials that can be gathered in the game. Here are all the materials and how to obtain them. The first step is Caramel Chunk. It drops from the orange crystals that are inside the cave. Chaotic Essence spawns right above the last position a bean was before it ascends to the Gummy Realm. It is possible to collect your own essence, but you've got to be pretty quick. Cursed Tomato. These materials drop when a baked bean is defeated. Four Leaf. These clovers spawn around the map during the Lucky Day event. Frost Orbs are only obtainable during the winter holiday. Gumwood Log is a common material that drops when trees are destroyed. You have to be big enough to break the trees, so make sure to increase your size cap when you can. Jelly Gem. This is one of the rarest, if not the rarest, having a drop rate of only 1 in 300. It drops from rocks and crystals, not trees, only the mineral-based items. It does not have a crafting purpose as of this video, but it can be sold for 100 coins. Lapazalia Log. 
These drop from the blue lapizalia trees in the forest above the cave. Magnetite. This is now available to mine from three different dark crystals located on the cliffs above spawn near the AFK mushroom. Moonstone. These drop from moonwebs who only visit the bean world during a blue moon event. Sky's Feather. The feather drops directly from Sky, the dev, when they are playing on a server. It also very rarely drops from the cyan crystal at the top of the map. Spiky Stone. These drop from the stones found around the map, most commonly found at the mouth of the cave. Star Shard. This material drops from stars during a starfall event. While the chance is low, stars can also fall during normal nights, so star shards are available outside of an event. An average of two to three stars can fall each normal night. Sticky Syrup. This is the most common material. It drops from the syrup pillars around the map. The majority of the pillars are located in the mini games area. Sugar Crystal. These drop from the crystals around and inside the cave. Events are a great opportunity to level quickly and or get extra materials. The probability of any event happening is 1 in 5, so they all have the same rarity. There are four different events currently available. Two events for day and two for night making that a 1 in 10 chance for any specific event to occur. At the beginning of each event, there will be a server announcement in chat. Starfall. The first event added to the game. During Starfall, stars will fall from the sky, dropping enhanced stardust gummies and star shards. Each of the enhanced gummies give 50 experience and 10 regular gummies when collected. Lucky Day. The second event added to the game is Lucky Day. During this event, coins spawn more frequently, four-leaf clovers are found, and experience earned has a 1 in 10 chance of being multiplied by 7. Blue Moon. Once in a blue moon, moonlight creatures, or moon bwebs, come to visit and play hide and seek. These little creatures are small blue spheres which, when found, reward the player along with the rest of the server with experience. They also drop coins and moonstone gems. Baked beans can also be affected by the blue moon. These altered baked beans are invisible but easy to defeat with only 1 HP. Baked Bean Invasion During this event, baked beans will invade the world to try to steal gummies. The goal is to defeat as many baked beans as possible to collect their bounty and cursed tomatoes. The more a baked bean eats, the higher the bounty, so be sure to let them eat some gummies before attacking. These cranky beans come in many varieties. Some are more rare and difficult to defeat, including bucket beans, golden baked beans, and the rarest of them all, purple baked beans. So that's it for the basics. Thank you to Sky the Floof for creating this game and helping me complete this tutorial. And a special thank you also to Cosmic Radar, aka Marcus, for their advice and some extra clips. You guys are awesome! If you have any questions I haven't answered here, feel free to ask in the comments. I also recommend joining the Discord group for more information, including announcements and updates, and to just talk with other really cute beans. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.